So let's say you want to improve canopy penetration by spray droplets and you think increasing the pressure is the way to go. Let's do a little experiment and show you what happens. I'm holding a fine droplet here, or a ping pong ball, and I'm holding a coarse droplet, a golf ball. I'm going to turn into the wind and apply them with a small amount of pressure. I'm going to throw them. The fine droplet landed here. The coarse droplet landed here. Coarse droplets move ballistically, like cannonballs. The amount of pressure you put on them determines how far they go, and they move in straight lines. Finer droplets do whatever they want. As soon as they leave the nozzle body, they start to slow down. They evaporate. They're affected by wind, thermals, all kinds of things we can't predict. Now let's try throwing them with a little more pressure. Well, the ping pong ball went a little bit further. But the coarse droplet, the golf ball, it went a lot further. And if I had really applied a lot of pressure, we'd never see this golf ball again. The point here is, raising the pressure may improve penetration by a larger droplet, but it doesn't do very much at all for a fine droplet. In fact, the higher the pressure you use, the finer the droplet gets. And that doesn't help at all.